Hey guys, Luna here, and welcome to Ultra LMAD, or L -L Ultra LMAO. It's hard to tell from based on the title, but I just played through the tutorial, and I thought this was a pretty interesting game concept, which I, as I said, just played through the tutorial. I haven't really gotten through too much of this game, but basically you have health you have maximum energy for how, what you're able to play uh, stress level basically how much stress you have increases the damage you take uh, you have your deck which I want to definitely starting position back give me a second to clear deck because I definitely want to do Clean that that's that's That is the deck I want to go with. So if I leave back. How do I go back to the... How do I go back to the... No, I don't want to go... No, where... Do I have to add these? No. Okay, yeah, so you click the deck manager to go back, okay. Uh, but yeah, you have start different starting positions. B, M, and front, so basically back, middle, front. You have, obviously, settings and return to menu. You have six sem semesters to graduate, so you complete health points and stress levels after completing a semester. If you fail six t and you, you become expelled, lose one stress after failing an opportunity. So... But also, there's subject classes. Attending, cl uh, attending classes unlock their subject projects. Subjects proje projects succeed in combat. Complete succeed in combat completes their subjects. Yet yeah, have a certain number of subjects that you need to complete for the next semester, and all the available cards by subject and semester. So, I think I'm gonna go with. So I have a lot of blue cards, so I think I'll do... Do I have any? I guess I'll do basic physics, because I, I seem to like that. Um, I guess I'll do gain knowledge to get cards on the subject. <laughs> this was not at all like the initial thing. Okay. So, gain two force fool, gain X energy next turn, uh, gain six protection, uh, more effective if you're in the middle, and deal damage but only if you're in the thing. I don't like any of these. I guess I'll do center of madness. Um like any of these, but uh, gain two accelerant. Next movement card you use the castle must gain two forceful, free fall. I don't really like any of these. Okay. Well. Interesting. Well, I'm guessing basic physics. Now we go into combats. Okay. So he is going to summon an ally. So I'm gonna focus on doing damage. And so basically, how this sets up is that uh, hand, cards in hand, you can only have a maximum of ten. You can ro draw a card, which it consumes one energy. There's your draw pile. How much energy you have? You discard pile. If you discard a card, you have a chance to gain energy and then your exhaust pile. So and I guess I'll gain five protection. Actually I probably should have just attempted to forget and then draw more cards. So yes, I want to summon an ally and then gain some protection. Space my entire hand. And yeah. Oh, of course you move me forward. Okay. Hey, 
I guess that kind of worked out for me, though. Falling rock gonna damage you. And... Tie to stress. Ooh, that's not good. Well, I'm gonna definitely clear some stress. You're not likely to get stout uh, energy, unfortunately. Definitely gonna rest again. Nice more damage. Um. Yeah, my goal is to try and obviously get out that dude. Because oh, if I'm able to take out the minion on their side, it's very be good. So, F, discard that, F, discard that. So stress work. Definitely need to reduce the number of cards in my deck, I think. Uh, F, I don't need any of those. F. Definitely leave that. I do not. Okay. <sighs> of course, it increases. Take a bunch of stress, which is unfortunate. Subject complete. Um, I don't really like any. Saturated. The next movement card. I don't really like any of these. So we just get accelerated, I guess. Subject completed. Give me a second. I'm gonna. Since that's exhaust, that's B. B touches B specifically in the last, but I'll remove those two since I may end up moving. Hopefully that will work out in the long run. So let's try geometry. Could be interesting. I think I'll just try and get some more knowledge. This is a very interesting concept of how you may get uh, more cards. Deals four to six damage to multiple targets. I like that, and I do like that. Yeah, this doesn't really help. So, but you do end up getting moves. That would be good just to add in. Definitely add in that for focal points. It's just good. Okay. Okay. So summon an ally. And I may have to end up getting a moved card, but... F, I don't need any of those. So, um, definitely do that. I keep wanting to press space to end my turn. 
Oh, I've just got a notification for a random thing. Okay, three protection. Least stress. I can probably remove one rest to... Because I... Re very better card cycling. Probably should have discarded, attempted to discard again. Rest, attack. Since I don't know what I'm gonna draw next, I'm just gonna. It was my compatriot, that's okay. Five attacks. The enemy goes down. Well, now four, because the fact that's. Okay, so let me do attack, rest, discard my hand. I get nothing. Need three attacks. Summon an ally with Reckless. That sounds fun. Do you like Angworth? That. Sure, I'll just update my deck. Give me a second, so clear deck. So, summon an ally, get focal points. I do like. Definitely summon an ally. So, deal... I don't think I need that one. Next movement space spell. Artist, generalist, and program, yeah. Then... Gain 5 protection. Yeah, so... I think this is a good deck. Okay. Subject completed. Let's do... Calculus, I guess? I don't need to heal quite yet, I've been Ooh. doing fine. <sighs> Solid. Blocks incoming damage to health. That's a middle one, though. Gain too heavy, can't be moved. Blocks and coming down. I don't like it. Apply burned. I like that. Oh, that would have been nice to have restore HP. Okay, can't be moved by any means. Okay. Um. Guess I'll just be prepared. Positive stat effect. Okay. 
Okay. Well, I'm gonna. S so you're gonna summon an ally. I'll summon an ally. So, ooh, you remove stress. I, I should have put you behind. Not like I could have known, though. So I'll do damage to that. F, discard my hand. Doesn't help me with one energy. Okay. So get rid of that, since I don't want you. Summon an ally. Of course, I don't get anything. Okay, so that's basic. Do some stress, do some damage. Summon your ally, but that's okay. Because I have enough to knock you out. Definitely heal. I don't like infinite limits. Yeah, I'll pick up the burn just in case. Um. Definitely like you. I mean, it feels kind of not very worthwhile to just have defensive cards. Like, yeah, it's useful, but like, it feels like it's more effective just to have the other stuff. I can do a vacation. I'm gonna get knowledge. <laughs> Okay, it's in reply burn. So, ally summon character, middle and back position. All enemies get on death. Deal f I like that. I don't really like the other, these other cards. Variable. Give, give a value of x to the next that use. Give a value of x to the next effect that uses a status and half stacks. Uses twenty five stacks. Ooh. Yeah. So what's vacation? Completing half the subject and health points. And okay. Nice. Okay. Last projects are increased by 33%. 16 combat grants, 100% chance of getting one rare card. Interesting. I'll put those two in as well. Just to. Because it sounds interesting. 10 supply 3 stress. Oh, wait. <sighs> Players. Okay, I have to remove the variable. Stress, apply burn. Okay. So an ally, so you start doing damage to Summon an ally. So they both So they're just turns on the same thing, okay. Attack, discard variable, and then turn. Move 
Stress, Apply Burn. Okay. Apply Burn. Deal Stress. The Fleet Flow Night is Lost Projects. Yeah. This is a pretty interesting card. I like variable, but I'm not on the game. Go to your variable. That's interesting. I'll, I'll grab them both, though I'm probably not going to end up using it. Yeah. Okay, because I'm definitely doing a minion summoning deck. Increases your opportunities by one. Choose two from the available ones. Decrease your chance to consume knowledge with focus by 30. Ooh. I definitely do like increased chance and I'll increase my opportunities by one. Sounds good. Might as well keep p pushing through, I guess. Actually, you know what? I'm going to call this episode here. I hope you guys have a good day, night, week, month of your lives, and may the stars forever guide your path, forever might lead you into the future. And see you in the next episode of this. So I hope you guys have fun.